What is up humanoids? We've got a special one today. I'm also going to send some of these to our homie Dale because he loves hardcore and he loves turnstile. He's going to tell you about these as well on his channel. So go check out Dale Decker on YouTube as well. But for now, we're going to jump into this turnstile converse release. The lows are 80 bucks. I didn't get my size, so I don't know how they fit, but converse tend to run a little big. So most people say go a half size down. That's what the squad says. That's what the general rule of thumb is on Converse. But here you go. This box is pretty special. This is the Converse One Star in white, pink, white. And this is a size nine and a half. You've got turnstile on the box right there. Little stars on the outside and Converse on the other side of the box. Turnstile is deeply rooted in skateboarding. For those of you who don't know, they're a band from Baltimore. Uh, much like the Carpet Company skateboarding brand. And they've done some stuff together and released some collabs and stuff like that. It seems like their community is very tight-knit. It seems very positive and very cool. And it makes a whole lot of sense that they did a Converse collaboration because like, I've got a photo of Turnstile on my wall right there that Savannah Bacchus took and they're wearing Converse. So it just makes sense. It seems, I watched some skate videos of those dudes today skating in Chuck Taylors. So there you go, Converse, Turnstile, here we are. We're gonna look at this thing. These things, oh, check this out. Thank you on the box on the inside and in this kind of reflective or clear uh, ink right there or just white maybe, but something different for you. Let's pull them both out. Here you go. This is the one star for 80 bucks and your double stars right there. And you got this clear outsole on the bottom, the Converse branding, Converse all-star right there with this kind of clear and pink outsole. Super grippy. I always like how the clear rubber grips. It just seems to be grippier to me. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but on the inside you have this can't be the only one which is kind of cute because it's right next to two stars. Isn't that special? Um, it looks like it might have some, some extra rubber protection behind this toe cap because you can see that line in the, uh, in the toe cap right there. So it kind of looks like you might have that extra protection behind the leather, which is pretty cool to skate in. So here you go. Comes with a bunch of extra laces. You do have your, your pink lace with these. And also comes with the white and then you got these little pink fuzzy guys right here, which is pretty sick. Um, dudes, I couldn't wear this. We did get this in some men's sizes, but we didn't get it in my size. This one actually does come with your cons insole, that super nice insole that we're used to. You got your cons branding on the sock liner, but this is different. This is more of a, um, it's got kind of a rubbery feel instead of that cloth feel that you might be used to on the um, typical cons insole. So there you go. It's got that. Um, this one right here, the heel says turnstile and cons on it. It can't be the only one kind of embossed or debossed right there on the outsole. So I guess this is the two star instead of the one star. I don't know. On this tongue, you have turnstile debossed on this nice leathery vibe. And then of course, oh, you got it on both, turnstile. I thought the other one said Converse, but they both say turnstile. Something else you get in the skate cons is this um, Lycra tongue strap. And especially with the one star that's extra, the one star and the chuck, Converse especially, that little centering strap just does just makes a world of difference especially on this type of shoe so kind of cool that that's in there but that's it guys these release tonight at midnight on bluetilesc.com pay attention they're 80 bucks um we got small sizes mostly in this but we did get some men's sizes in this shoe um i think irving's gonna get some he's kind of hyped on these so Okay, on to the next one. You guys know I love Chuck Taylors. This is the first time we have had a Chuck 70 in the store that was involved with a skate story. We've had some Chuck 70s before, but not at all marketed through 
the skateboarding division or whatever. So this is kind of cool, something special. You got your nine and a half Chuck Taylor, black, gray, white, turnstile in uh, tonal black on black. And you got this like kind of staticky vibe on the top. I'm sure you turnstile fans know what that is. And then you got Converse on the other side of the box there. So pretty sick. Also, thank you on the inside of this box as well. So <clears throat> guys, I know this is extra, extra, extra rushed today. Some of these things came in yesterday. The rest of them came in today and they released tonight. So I'm like extra rushed because I had other interviews and other obligations and other things going on. But this is definitely really sick. Like I said, this is your Chuck 70, and we don't get a lot of that. Um, what you can tell different from the Chuck 70 is is how high this like this outsop this outsole or the um, the tape is like a high tape on this. So that's going to help protect the shoe. It's going to help protect this canvas from skating because it's going to be really hard to get to wear this canvas out because that rubber sidewall is pretty dang high but it is that clear grippy rubber. So I know that sometimes the rubber toe caps are, people are dissuaded by it, but even touching this, it just feels so sticky. I think it's gonna grip really well. So a little extra toe bumper around there, like always. And here is your outsole with the pattern. I can't even tell what that is, but there is a pattern behind this clear outsole and I just like that a lot. I like these shoes a lot. I like chucks a lot. I've got a ton of chucks at home and I skate in them all the time. Um, this is different than your normal chuck skate. This is actually a Converse Chuck 70, not a Cons Chuck Taylor. So a little difference. You don't have that extra like suede lining or faux suede lining on the inside. You don't have your Lycra tongue straps in there, and I'm sorry this is all discombobulated, but tongue straps on these is usually a go in the skateboarding ones, and it makes the shoe super awesome, but being a Chuck 70 also makes this shoe stand out. You've got your uh, hairy suede um, side patch on there, kind of makes it a little different. And there's this, this uh, I don't know, is it static? Is it a dandelion? Who knows? You guys know. Tell me in the comments below what this is, a sig what this signifies. I don't know. I did try these on in an 11 and a half. I still kind of like to stay true to size in my Converse. Maybe I like the extra room. Most people would go down a half size. I went true to size. Make of that what you will. Does that make sense? On the inside of your tongue, you have this Converse Chuck 70 athletic shoes and turnstile branding, which is kind of cool. And then on this one, you have the embroidered or yeah, like an embroidered turnstile tonal black on black. I hope you can see that. Um, so a little different on each shoe. You also have a ton of different laces. You got your white lace with turnstile branding on the, uh, aglet right there and then you got these metal ones with turnstile printed on the aglets also so probably the one to keep are these like glittery looking laces right there with also turnstile on the aglet so these things are 95 bucks um, that's pretty typical for Chuck Taylor 70s and uh, yeah I think that's it let's pull the insoles out all right there you go guys that is your your Chuck Taylor Converse turnstile insole. It's got all the guys on the sock liner there, but this is different than your skate insole. It's still pretty nice. Um, this feels like an EVA foam or something like that, or maybe a recycled EVA foam with that like extra cushioning wedge attached to it. So still very comfortable to put on. Maybe not as secure as your typical skate chuck but you could slide those insoles in here and be just fine and nobody could tell. I don't know if you guys can see that lasting board, but that is like a, a nice, like different kind of rubbery lasting board. This probably adds to the comfort of these Chuck 70s. So you have that nice, nice midsole with a nice insole on top. And that's why these feel so cushy when I put them on my foot. So 
All right, guys, that is it. I'm going to wrap this up. I know this one was extra, extra rushed, and I say that in so many dang videos, but this one really, really, really is extra rushed, but I love this turnstile collab. These release at midnight on bluetilesc.com. 95 for the chucks, 80 for the, the two stars, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Guys, today I had an interview with the local paper about growing up in the punk and hardcore scene in Columbia, South Carolina, and it brought up a ton of memories, and I did reference Turnstile in that uh, interview. Um, it's so fun to go to shows if you're not a part of your local hip-hop or punk rock or hardcore community or whatever it is, indie rock, EDM, whatever it is, local music community, you should, you should try to find where it is. It's part of who I am today and why I am who I am today. Um, yeah, I really love going to hardcore shows and going to punk shows, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully I'll see you guys out at some shows sometime soon. And we'll see you in the next one. Um, all the best. Love Blue Tile. Peace.